Was, uh, do you know about the meat? Do you know what that is? Yes. Oh, isn't this it's, exciting? Yeah, I, like I haven't been able to sleep for like three nights awesome. because of this. Chunks of pure awesome. <laughs> Absolutely. If you get on over to our website, category5.tv, from now on, we got this great new feature. Watch the show, past episodes, the meat. <laughs> we have stripped out all of the vegetables, all of the potatoes, <laughs> and we're just giving you nothing but the meat. So these are like, you know, anywhere from 15 second to, uh, you know, to like 20 minute clips mm -hmm. taken from Category 5 Technology TV, the live broadcast, and put together into basically what we call the meat. It's an RSS feed. And now you can just catch those little tidbits. So when a viewer asks a question, if it makes it onto the meet, you're going to be able to just watch that one question and answer. Yeah. Um, so this is perfect for, you know, if you have a week where you just don't have the time to watch the entire show. Mm -hmm. If you are, you know, for example, you, you, you've asked a question for, on behalf of a friend and you want to share that with a friend, yeah. you can actually just send them right over to the clip on the meet. I found mm -hmm. uh, after we did the interview with Mark Shuttleworth, People were posting it all over on forums and stuff. Oh, and yeah. what struck me is that people were saying, okay, you got to watch episode number 60, uh, 64, but you got to watch it for about nine minutes and then the interview starts, right? So I'm like, mm. oh, so you just wanted. While that's cool, I appreciate that them. Highlight. Yeah, so, so I pre appreciate people mentioning it, mm -hmm. but to make, you know, force them to have to sit through nine minutes just to see Mark is. So, yeah. anyway, so now you can use the meet, and that's uh, definitely a cool feature. So, get on over yeah. to our website. Uh, the DIVX RSS feed has begun. Uh, we're going to be finishing things up with the DIVX, and then we're going to be adding uh, H.264 as well. And that is always going to be 480p or higher. So there's never going to be anything under 480p on that feed. 